way too cheesy. What's up, it's Who The F is JC, your unofficial junk food connoisseur. And we are about to embark on one of the strangest taste tests imaginable. We are gonna try not one, but three different food-based ice creams. And I'm talking like great foods, delicious foods. Well, one kind of weird, kind of richy rich sort of food, but two classic foods. I have three pints of Van Luen ice cream. We got Kraft mac and cheese, we've got pizza, and we have Grey Poupon ice cream is what we're about to taste test right now on this video. Now, before we get into the actual ice cream taste test, I'd like to ask if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, drop a little like on the video below. Uh, leave a comment. Have you tried any of these three varieties of ice cream? Are you daring? Are you bold enough to try eating your dinner as ice cream? What did you think about it? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you do enjoy my snack related content, please subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you know the second I post some new snacking related content. And also don't forget, tune into me live at twitch.tv slash who the F is JC and hang out with me while I taste test and try new snacks and exotic snacks live on Twitch. So give you a little bit of background on some of these ice creams. So Van Luen came out with uh, this Kraft mac and cheese ice cream maybe a year ago. It was available only uh, online. I wanna say like the end of last summer they had it available online on their website, sold out, gone. Nobody could get any of it. So then they put it out uh, as an exclusive flavor at Walmart uh, earlier this year, maybe back in January or February. And that's when I picked this pint up. It's been sitting in my freezer waiting for the perfect time, the perfect moment to crack it open and do a little bit of a taste test. So earlier this year, like maybe April-ish, they released another line of different flavors. And this one included pizza. So we got a pizza flavored ice cream. And then most recently, they had just put out this Grey Poupon ice cream. Now, if you're looking for these flavors of ice creams, I believe they are exclusive to Walmart only. Uh, you might be able to pick them up online at, at their website, and it's Van Luen ice cream. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm not sure, but V-A-N-L-E-E-W-U-E-N, -E -E I think is how it's all spelled. It's very fancy cursive writing uh, on the containers. But now, these are a, a French ice cream, and from what I understand about French ice cream is there's like more egg yolk in it than other ice cream. And uh, their big thing is creating the world's best ice cream. And obviously they think theirs is the best. Now, what is macaroni and cheese and pizza flavored ice cream, Grey Poupon ice cream gonna taste like? I don't know. It sounds weird. I feel like I could be disgusted. I could be surprised, pleasantly surprised as to how good they are. But uh, we're gonna start with the, the oldest release, which is gonna be the Kraft Blue Box Mac and Cheese. So this is the first one we're gonna taste test. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like, give it a little sniff, let you know if you, you smell any of the aromas of that classic Blue Box um, chemically made mac and cheese. One of my favorites. I love Kraft Mac and Cheese. Uh, classic mac and cheese growing up as a kid, still as an adult, uh, I love it. I've upgraded from just a regular Kraft mac and cheese with like the regular straight noodles or the kind of curved noodles to the spirals. I feel like the spirals, you get a little more cheesiness uh, with the mac and cheese, but I still love a Kraft mac and cheese. It's uh, my preferred mac and cheese if I'm making mac and cheese at the house for a quick meal. But uh, what they say about this ice cream is that uh, if this ice cream reminds you of the, your favorite ice cream as a child, you may have a problem. But they say if this ice cream reminds you of a comforting bowl of Kraft mac and cheese you grew up with, then you nailed it and they nailed the flavor. And uh, let's see what it tastes like. So I'm gonna open it up. See if it gives us uh, any kind of a description as to what it is. It says, uh, have you ever met someone who didn't smile while eating ice cream or while eating a comforting bowl of Kraft mac and cheese? Yeah, we didn't think so. So why not enjoy both at the same time, in the same bowl, in the same mouth? So these guys, I mean, gotta give them props because they got some wild flavors. And these are just like the most wild. Uh, I couldn't even track down. They have a cornbread flavor. They have a hot honey flavor. But they also have regular flavors of ice cream too, like s'mores and different things like that. But uh, for me, I'm more of the, uh, the adventurous. I'm a, I'm a flavor adventurous. So I want to see what exactly uh, these wild flavors are going to taste like. So I'm going to open up. Ooh, very yellow. It's the same shade of yellow or orange or whatever you want to call it. Oh, so it's like sherbet. It's like a cheesy sherbet here. Uh, the, the Van Luen's Kraft Mac and Cheese. Not smelling anything though. I'm not picking up any kind of an odor. 
You just feel the coldness radiating from the uh, the top of the ice cream pint. So no smell whatsoever. But let's grab a spoon and dig in and see what we got. But again, I believe these are exclusive to Walmart. So if you're looking to pick these up, you're gonna have to go to Wally World or possibly check out their site online and uh, purchase it then. So here we go. First taste of the Van Nguyen's Kraft Mac and Cheese Ice Cream. It's so weird. No scent there. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh. That's weird. It's like salty and cheesy, but cold and smooth and creamy. It's a wacky flavor. Mm. Ah, I mean, French ice cream. It's if this is French ice cream and it's like it got a different like a texture or smoothness. Delicious. Like it's very smooth and maybe rich is is the word for it. But it's like a blast of powdery cheese right on your taste buds. I want to like it. I do. I really do. But. is so empowering that powdery cheese which I'm a chemical man I'm a chemical brother I love my chemical foods but this ice cream is whew, it's too much I think there's too much cheesiness for this cheesy guy to handle got yeah, one actual bite oh it's so as you're eating it you get like the cold smoothness of the ice cream and you're hit with like a salty sweetness. Like there's still a hint of sweetness, but it's very salty. And actually, it be, maybe it's less salt and more cheese. So it's smooth, cold, and cheesy. This is not one that I would recommend trying unless you're just trying it for the thrills. Like if you and your friends want to get together, take a couple tastes, and see what you, what you think about mac and cheese ice cream, this is something to try. But this is not something I would recommend putting on a your request list for your birthday cakes, you know, side dessert, but ooh, ah, way too cheesy. All right, now we got the pizza flavor. So let's see if it gives us a little bit of a description of what the pizza is. Um, let me see what we can find here. Talking about why their French ice cream is different. And let's see what this says. So they're claiming with this one, they say, who said you can't have the best of both worlds? Not us. So put aside any notion that you can't have your pizza and ice cream together in one crazy, but crazy delicious flavor. Truthfully, the one thing missing is the salad. Uh, maybe the breadsticks. I don't know. Could you imagine? Uh, what's next? Gonna be an Italian, uh, Greek salad flavored ice cream. So this is pizza. And I think it's gonna have like some sort of tomato sauce type uh, thing in it, but I'm not. 100% sure. I'm trying to see what the, so uh, the ingredients include mozzarella cheese powder, spices, cornstarch. So there's definitely, I'm gonna be looking for some sort of mozzarella flavor, but let's open it up and see uh, what it looks like. Maybe we'll get a, a smell. Will we get a smell of any kind of like pizza seasoning or anything? Not really. This one looks more like a, like a caramel type ice cream, like a little, caramel swirl in here, which I'm curious what that's gonna be because I feel like it's gotta be some sort of a marinara type flavor, but Van Luen's pizza ice cream, no pizza smell, nothing that kind of even drops like a hint that it could be a, a pizza flavored dessert. This could actually be a pretty good prank ice cream if it's not very flavorful or not very delicious and you leave it out, but don't let anybody see how many people actually realize and read it. pizza flavored. I bet just some, a lot of people won't. They just see ice cream and start eating it. And then like, oh my God, what have you fed me? What did you leave out? But let's get this, uh, let's scoop this bite right here with some of this swirl. Uh, looks like there might be, is that chunks of pizza dough in there? It's gonna be like a, like a, like a cookie dough, tomato flavored. Let's get some of that stuff in there too. All right, so now I got a little bit of everything. I'll take the first bite here. Kind of, it tastes kind of doughy. I'm also getting a little bit of leftover mac and cheese flavor on here, so. Some sweetness. This one tastes more like a 
more like an ice cream, but there's still some sweet cheesiness to it and some doughiness. So far, not bad. Let's get another taste here. Yeah, so like, the, I don't know if it's like dough balls, supposed to be like pizza dough. It's sweet and cheesy, but a different kind of cheesy. It's not like the strong powdery cheese from the Kraft Mac and Cheese. This would actually pass as a dessert, I feel, compared to the, the Kraft Mac and Cheese one. This one's not bad. It's not my favorite flavor, but you don't really pick up any hints of marinara. It's more like a like a cheesy saltiness with the sweetness. It's like a, like a salty savor or a sweet and savory type ice cream. Mmm, making a mess. The mustache looks like the end of a porno. Yeah, um, just okay. Again, this one passes as a dessert. Not my favorite flavor. I'm not picking up a ton of pizza. It's uh, it tastes just like a like a like a different sweet like cookie dough or like birthday cake type ice cream but not birthday cake and cookie dough flavored if that makes sense it's kind of what it is like it's sweet and salty and cheesy sweet salty cheesy and cold i think that's the theme we're going to be dealing with uh with this taste test video but whew. so again pizza flavored ice cream not my favorite i if you had to choose between the two, I would go pizza because it actually tastes more like ice cream, more like a dessert, compared to the uh, the mac and cheese one tastes more like a salty cheese dish. So here's the latest one that they put out. Grey Poupon with salted pretzels. So it's going to be like a honey Dijon mustard flavor with some salted pretzels in the, uh, in the ice cream. And what it says here, uh, let's see. Grey Poupon elevates any meal to something worth savoring, so why not ice cream? Especially French ice cream. An unexpected yet delightful blend of sweet ice cream, honey Dijon swirl, and salted pretzels. Mais oui! I get a little Frenchy with it here with the, the French ice cream and the Grey Poupon. Now you can go to the, the ice cream shop and do the, pardon me, do you have any Grey Poupon? You know, you could do that whole, that whole little shtick now inside an ice cream place if they have this, but... Right now, if you can find this, it is a limited edition. All three of these are limited edition. These, I believe, are exclusive to Walmart. Again, exclusive to Walmart. And when I went and I found them like uh, a few weeks ago, like two, maybe two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, there was only a few left on the shelf. So um, make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Oh no! This one doesn't have a seal on top, which makes me a little worried that uh, it might've been tampered with at the grocery store. What? We got a taste test to film. This actually gives me a little, a little hint of mustard. I got a little hint of mustard on this one. A bummer. I'm a little worried. You can almost see some of the, the, the Dijon little seasoning pieces on the lid there. Definitely picking up a hint of mustard on this one. And I'm gonna quickly wipe my spoon clean. I don't pick up any of the pizza flavors or the uh, the Kraft mac and cheese flavors. Don't need any additional flavors going on. There's already enough. So I'm gonna make sure we get some of the ice cream and we get some of the mustard and hopefully we'll get some chunks of pretzel. So let's see. We're dripping, we're oozing all over the counter. But got a nice scoop here. Pretzels, mustard, ice cream, all there. Let's give it a taste. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I don't know, the pretzels, because they're so hard, well, I mean, mm. I don't think the mustard works with the ice cream, Van Luen, Van Luen, I can't even say your name right. I mean, it tastes like a dessert though, I'll give you that, but uh-uh. This one is not for me. None of these are for me. I gotta stick to the little Debbie ice cream flavors, I believe. Little pretzels, so it looks like there might be little 
circular pretzels. You can't really see it on the spoon. Little circle pretzels. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I gotta pass on this one. No on the Grey Poupon. Salted pretzel ice cream. No, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, not a fan. Like, it's not very tasty, I get. I mean, I can see some people enjoying it because there's still a sweetness. You can get the hint of the mustard, but the combination of the sweetness and the mustard with like the pseudo crunch of those pretzels that are in here, because the pretzels are in here and they're not totally soggy and they're not soft like a cookie dough. So they still have like a crunch. You can still recognize that they're pretzels. It's almost like a, I feel like I'm eating a prank ice cream. Like I, I left some ice cream sitting there out and somebody was like, ah, we'll show him. We'll throw some pretzels in there. He'll never know. Like it, it's like, I don't know. I almost feel like I'm eating like a, if somebody turned like a Gordetto, Gargettos mix into like an ice cream. Yeah. No thanks. Got a pass on that. Oof. No, thank you. I'll leave that one to you guys to enjoy, but I'm tapping out. Oof. Never thought ice cream would be so miserable. I don't know, man. Stick to dinner foods for dinner and ice cream is for dessert. Let's not combine the flavors here. Um, I, I gotta say no. I'm giving a thumbs down on all three of these limited edition Van Luen ice creams. Kraft mac and cheese, no thank you. Pizza flavored, no thank you. Grey Poupon with salted pretzels, no thank you. Now I will say the pizza and the Grey Poupon do have a sweetness, so they do taste more like a dessert. But that Kraft mac and cheese, man, it's, it's literally like the adventure of that Kraft mac and cheese is just punching the shit out of your taste buds on your tongue with that powder cheese flavor. It's overly, too overly cheesy and, and powdery. So gotta pass on all, all three of those, so. Oof, ah, I need to do a little palate cleanse and get some real ice cream, get some cookies and cream or some mooch tracks or something. Oof, that was rough. So hope you enjoyed that taste test review of these three limited edition flavors from Van Luen and Walmart ice cream. We've got the pizza, Kraft Mac and Cheese, and Grape Pond. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, drop a like uh, on the video. Have you tried either of these, any of these? Have you tasted any of these food items as desserts? Let me know what you thought. Were you as repulsed as I was, or did you enjoy the flavor? And uh, go buy more. I wouldn't buy any of these ever again. Not these three flavors. I think the ice cream is high quality and delicious, a nice smooth and creaminess, but the flavor profiles that they picked for these limited edition may be great to go viral on the internet and uh, get the word out about your, your ice cream shop. But for mass consumption, definitely no. I say, I say pass on that. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop it a, uh, give it a like. Uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my snacking content, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, you can watch me taste test new and exotic snacks live on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash who the F is JC. So we'll catch you next time for some more snack related content. We got a bunch of new flavors of Mountain Dew. It is the summer of Mountain Dew and they are not disappointing. I got three different varieties of Mountain Dew to taste test. So watch out for those videos to hit YouTube soon. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Sayonara, sucker.